does pink sauce need to go in the refrigerator or it can or can it sit out on your shelf okay so that was another typo so it says please refrigerate everything has rolled out extremely fast right mistakes happen you know what yeah mistakes do happen but when it comes to food stuff, you kind of need to be on the ball with it a little bit. Right, what's going on, boys? Long time no see. I've been on holiday, but I'm back now. And today we're going to be talking about the pink sauce woman. She's from TikTok. I'm sure if you use TikTok, you have heard of the pink sauce bar now. Basically, this random woman, literally an average woman, I don't even think she has any past in making food products, correct me if I'm wrong, has decided to make a ranch-like type of sauce. And everyone's just buying into it because it's fucking pink this is what i call a woman moment if i've ever seen one mainly women are buying the sauce just because it's pink they don't even check for what the ingredients are most people don't even know what the ingredients are but they buy it because oh aesthetics it's nice and pink like i'm pretty sure the woman that made the sauce didn't even bother to get it approved by the fda first like literally look if we look at the actual fucking website there's not really any information about calories the fucking servings i've heard I've heard that it's fucking 444 servings. So I don't know if that's true or not. It doesn't fucking say on here. There's like literally nothing. Info, search. Let's see what this does. No, nothing there. All you get is this fucking picture of the sauce. Obviously what you got in it by the looks of it is sunflower seed oil, chili, garlic, honey, and the thing that gives it the fucking pink color, dragon fruit. Now you might be looking at this page and thinking... Ah, uh, that's just a little bit fucking steep for a sauce, man. If it tastes just like ranch, why not go to the shop and buy ranch for like three quid? Uh, and that, that's a, a pretty valid fucking question. I don't know why it's that expensive. But yeah, as you can see, there's absolutely zero information other than the ingredients. No materials, doesn't tell you shipping returns, don't tell the dimensions of the bottle, doesn't tell you the care instructions. It's literally like this bitch has just put this up for a fucking quick cash grab, hence why it's $20. I don't know if she's put it as $20 because she'll realise that people aren't going to fucking buy it again or what, I'm not sure. Good morning, good morning. I know y'all been wondering where I'm at, where's Chef B, and what's going on with Pink Sauce, and why is the Pink Sauce sold out? Well, I'm extremely excited to announce that the Pink Sauce is partnering with Dave's Gourmet Hot Sauce Company, in which I'll have the opportunity to not kill people. Like, I'm actually kind of glad a big company's partnered with it because from what I've heard, I don't know how true it is because it is the internet, you have to take everything with a grain of salt. People were getting sick from this sauce. And honestly, it wouldn't fucking surprise me. It's a sauce made by a TikToker who claims she's a chef. So if that kind of thing were to happen, I wouldn't be the most surprised person in the world, and I doubt you would be either. Dear Pink Sauce customers, thank you for your loyalty and patience as we bring Pink Sauce to life. Please rest assured that our Pink Sauce team is hard at work ensuring that our Pink Sauce is safe and abiding by all food safety standards. So, let me get this clear real quick. She didn't think to do that before releasing the sauce to the public. She thought to do it after she'd already sold it to hundreds if not thousands of people. Yeah, good one. I'm trying my hardest not to make a fucking woman joke right now, but it's like any person with common sense and someone that just doesn't want to go to fucking jail, because it's America, they'll sue you for anything over there. They would think to just check, just make sure everything's good, get it FDA approved before releasing it. Or if you wanted to do a quick cash grab, do it with something other than food. I don't know, that's just my opinion though. Furthermore, we are dedicated to providing our current and future customers with clear, unambiguous and accurate labels and descriptions of the pink sauce and its ingredients that meet and exceed the FDA guidelines. Okay, so now she's actually following the FDA guidelines. There's a plus, I guess. You could have done that, you know, as I said, before fucking releasing it. And another thing that just makes the sauce seem so much more sketchier, every time I see it, it is a different shade of pink. It's never fucking consistent. Sometimes it's almost white and sometimes it's literally like a fucking hot pink color. So to me, that alone is sketchy. I personally wouldn't want to buy something that doesn't seem to be consistent with the ingredients. That's just me though. Something else that I've just found out about this sauce while doing research mid-video. This sauce needs to be refrigerated. But the average delivery of this sauce is about two and a half weeks. So, explain to me how that works. Because for those of you who don't know what happens when you don't refrigerate something, a sauce specifically, that needs to be refrigerated. Basically, bacteria builds up, as you would fucking expect, and then it becomes semi-lethal. Keep talking about FDA approved 
What do you mean FDA approved? I don't sell medical products. All right, if you weren't convinced to not buy the sauce already, the fact that she doesn't even know what the fucking FDA stands for, maybe don't buy the fucking sauce. For someone that claims to have an extended and well-experienced culinary background. I have a very extensive background in the culinary industry. Talking about FDA approved. What do you mean FDA approved? I don't sell medical products. The bitch doesn't even know what FDA stands for. So uh, I think she's chatting. A bit of poo, to be honest with you, just to get more sales and money. TikTok literally demanded that they wanted the product. And I delivered, it was expedited, and mistakes happened. Chef P, the creator of the infamous pink sauce, is speaking out against the backlash. People are judging a prototype. If you didn't want people to judge the prototype, why sell the prototype to the public? If it's, in fact, fuck that, if it's a prototype, why sell it to the public in general? Prototypes mean you're still experiencing with shit, you don't know what's working or not. You can catch a serious fucking lawsuit for that. Like, the more I look into this situation, the more astounded I am by how dumb this woman actually was in this fucking situation. Like, I don't think a single thought process went through her head while making this fucking sauce other than money. Because... She knew what people would do. They would see a pink sauce, because there isn't really any pink sauce other than when you mix mayo and ketchup. People would see a vibrant pink sauce on TikTok, because that's where, like, all the fucking young children are. And they would see it, and they would want that shit immediately just because it's pink. Which is a smart move from her, I can't lie. But in all honesty, I don't know how she didn't expect to be fucked on by the law, for one. And just by people in general, because, like she said, it was a fucking prototype. She's with, She might be with a big company now that are helping her regulate things but in all honesty i think she should face some sort of backlash for basically using the public as test subjects for her source against their knowledge she didn't explain it was a prototype until she got backlash for it right and that's gonna be it for today boys i appreciate you for watching if you could leave a like and subscribe that would be appreciated and yeah that's gonna be it for me for today moral of the story don't buy food from fucking TikTok. You shouldn't need me to tell you that, but just in case you did. Be sure to join my Discord. Follow my Twitter in the description so you can boost my ego. And yeah, that's going to be it. Appreciate it for watching, boys. See you in the next one. Peace out. Don't buy pink sauce.